Like a doofus, I went to go ride Windseeker during Halloween haunt. It was literally like 30 degrees. When I tell you my face was so frozen, you could figure skate on my eyelids. I was so ashy that I would have the patience to go and do that scavenger hunt to find that men's section in Bath and Body Works. You know that one men's shelf? Just to get that one lotion that's just a random combination of nouns. Maple, firewood, wind. What the hell? What the hell is that? Ah, it does smell like maple firewood wind. Yo, never again. Wind seekers and skyscreamers are flat rides where you sit in a seat where your legs dangle and you're pulled up um, hundreds of feet in the air and spun around a tower. Wind seeker models are manufactured by Mondial. The one at Canada's Wonderland, Cedar Point, um, Kings Island, Kings Dominion, Carowinds. There's one at Worlds of Fun called Still Hawk, just because they wanted another excuse to make another ride named after a hawk. They just want to put any type of adjective in front of the name hawk. Not really a, an adjective, just a random noun. Cedar Fair probably has the same name makers from Bath and Body Works. Skyscreamers are star flyer models designed by Funtime. They're at many Six Flags parks. So the first time I was on a Windseeker, I'm not gonna lie. I was underwhelmed. Whelm was doing all types of acrobats over me and I didn't even flinch. I don't know, but it just feels like with the stats and you're like 300 feet tall and whatnot, you're expecting it to be this huge, high thrilling attraction. I was a little disappointed. I wanted to be blown away. I wanted to be Carrie Underwood. So I typically skip out on these attractions because I'm a giant p No, no, they're, they're fine. I just wouldn't really wait on them because like it's not really worth any weight ever. But like if I'm if it's one of those days where I'm literally riding everything at the park, then I'll ride it of course. Not something I'm just gonna skip for no reason. They make some beautiful nighttime lights with the Mondial models. The lights just spiral underneath the arm like when somebody shines a flashlight at your arms and you can see the sweat driplets <laughs> reflecting. They're actually mesmerizing. Almost mesmerizing enough for me to want to ride it. But I probably won't, especially at night. Not doing the hypothermia, no more. So I rode Skyscreamer at Six Flags New England. This one got me. This one is 400 feet tall. And with the Skyscreamers, the Starflyer models, you have these large chains instead of the giant poles that secure your um, seats. I felt so fragile. And nothing around me in the park is really even remotely close to that height, so it's just like, really? Just just looking down at all them hoes. It's the same feeling when you're the first adolescent to get your growth spurt during middle school. But really, why this one really impressed me is because at full swing at the top, you, if, when you look down, it felt like you're just swinging right on top of Wicked Cyclone and the um, water ride, the penguins. Rapping something and because of this and I indeed was carried with Underwood. I got my wish. I was carry Underwooded. Windseekers and Skyscreamers consistently give you a fun time. So corny. How do you like Windseekers and Skyscreamers and which models do you like more? Please hit the thumbs up. Please turn the subscriber notifications on. Um, share this video please. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Rob's Rides, keeping it 100 with all things amusement. I'm Rob, and if you thought I was Lily Marie, hit subscribe and I'll come back with a new video.